Good morning. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a little tired of doing children's messages this way. Not because I mind doing them. I'm glad to do them. But I really just miss seeing your faces and, and getting to talk with you. It's just a lot more fun when we're together and, and we get to see each other. So I hope we'll all be back together again real soon. I really do miss you. Well, listen, I want to talk with you about emotions this morning. Do you guys know what emotions are? Well, they're feelings. They're, they're feelings like being sad or happy or afraid. And I want to show you some pictures and let's see if you can tell how these guys are feeling. Here's the first one. How do you think this puppy feels? Well, I would say happy. He's lying on a bed with blankets and he has a ball to play with. So I think he's pretty happy. What about this guy? He looks pretty sad to me. If you look closely, you can even see tears in his eyes. Okay, one last one. What about this guy? Whew, he looks pretty angry to me. Now the man who took the picture says he's not a mean dog and he wasn't angry at any person. Actually, he says what was happening was that a bee kept flying around his head and he was angry that this bee kept annoying him so he was biting at the bee. Have you ever been angry? Probably so. You know, maybe you got into an argument with someone or someone pushed you down on the playground or maybe someone called you a name. Maybe like the bee aggravating that dog, maybe somebody just kept aggravating you until you couldn't take it anymore. Well, we're looking at our guy Nehemiah again this morning and when he was about halfway through building the wall, people started annoying Nehemiah and his workers. They called them names. They told them they would never finish the wall and even if they did, their wall was so rickety that it would fall down. They even threatened to beat up the workers if they kept building the wall. But you know what Nehemiah did? He didn't shout back. He didn't get into an argument. Nehemiah prayed to God and he asked God to protect him and his workers. And then Nehemiah just kept rebuilding the wall. He kept doing what he knew was right. You know, sometimes people make us angry. But it's what we do with our anger that matters most. We shouldn't shout. We shouldn't throw our toys. We certainly shouldn't get into a fight with them. We should pray and ask God to give us patience. And then we need to keep doing what we know is right. We need to do what we know the Bible teaches us, like being nice to people and doing kind things. Everyone gets angry, but it's how we react to that anger that matters most. Now, sometimes we need to let people know they upset us. And when you're a child, you may even need to let a parent or a teacher or another adult know that someone is being mean to you. But we also need to ask God to give us patience and protect us and to change the person who is being mean. And then we need to keep doing what we know is right. Let's pray together and ask God to help us the next time we get angry. Let's ask Him to help us do the right thing. Let's pray. Dear God, we sometimes get annoyed with people and we even get angry. But please keep us from doing the wrong thing. Keep us from shouting or worse, fighting with someone. Even when the other person is doing the wrong thing, help us do the right thing and do what you want us to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Will you guys keep trying to do the right thing? Take care. Goodbye.